Hey, Timmy D with Mid-South 360. Have you been learning how to collect ground control points for your drone maps, but you are wanting to be able to check your accuracy? Well, I'm going to teach you how to do just that. So I have a rather lengthy video that goes over the beginning to end details of how to collect the ground control points, process them, and then have the data that you need to put into your mapping software, be it PIX4D or whatever. Um, but this is just going to be a very short, down and dirty video on how to check your accuracy of your data collecting. All right, so first thing is that you go to this website right here. I'm going to put in South Haven, Mississippi and click on go and I'll have a link to this website down below so now when I put that in and I zoom in I can see all of these different little icons and these are benchmarks they're known locations and the ones that you're looking for are the ones that are a solid black circle with a white outline in the middle because they have GPS and elevation data with them and that's really what you want when you're checking accuracy and so let's look down. So this one, this particular one here, this AJ2658, is the one I went to yesterday. And so when I click on it, it'll open up a data sheet. And I'll go back to that in just a minute. But it, this name 160, that's what's going to be printed on the top, stamped on the top of that metal uh, marker that's down in the ground. And it even tells you what the... Uh, ortho or ellipsoid height is on that and let's look at this data sheet real quick so this tells you the information again the number that's stamped on the top of it it was installed in 1982 and that tells you by who um, I go down to the bottom it's going to tell you the last time that it was reported to be recovered in good condition so if it's usually within the last three to five years it's safe that you can go out and find it and right up here, this is what we're looking for. That's the information, that's the coordinates, the known coordinates of that mark. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go and survey this mark, and then you're going to compare what you gather to the known coordinates, and that's how you're going to check your accuracy. Do you know what you're doing in the field? And if you can do this repeatedly at different marks, multiple days, then you can feel good that you know what you're doing because all the stuff behind the GNSS the GPS system um, what these guys go to learn at school for four to six years to become a certified surveyor folks that is rocket science it is very complicated however collecting data from a specific point on earth processing it with software so that you can put it into your drone map that's not rocket science. That's just using the right software, having the right um, processes in place, and that's not rocket science. And that's what I'm going to teach you how to do. I'm not a certified surveyor. I can't even teach you how to do that. You got to go to school for that. Okay, let's move on. We are connected already to the base unit that I used yesterday, which was October the 27th. I'm going to go into my survey and I need to download the files. So I'm going to go to, that's the survey I did. It tells you the time and the date. That's UTC time. I'm going to export a CSV file and we want to go into our benchmark. And we're going to save it there. And I also need one other file, which is the logging file. And it's the UBX file. That's the one I need. All right save it. Okay, I'm done with the Reach RS, so I'm going to power it off. I usually always use the app to do that. Shut down. And I'm going to have a couple other videos. This is just a little short clip on specifically how to check accuracy. Um, I've mentioned in those, but I'll do it this one. The equipment I'm using is this Reach RS, and then I also use for processing Easy Serve by Effigus, two very good companies to work with. So I'm very pleased with those. So now let's 
bring up our Windows Explorer. I'm going to go into, I'm already in my Airways benchmark. These are the two files that we saved from the Reach RS. I need to now extract these. So I'm going to 7 zips when I use extract here. You need to unzip these in the same folder. 7 zip extract here. So now both of those are there. I'm going to move that down. And we're going to open up the utility that Effigis provides, Easy Serve provides that will convert the MLID reach files into a format that it can work with. So I'm going to surveys, benchmark. There's that. And now I need to bring in the raw data file. There it is right there. It was in the same folder. Open. When I click generate, it'll put an XML file down below. Okay. You can now see it's there. We can close this. I'm going to open up Easy Serve. Once Easy Serve is opened up, I am going to drag the XML file that the conversion utility created. It will go through and get everything converted over so that EasyServe can work with it. And you can see the additional files that it created during that process. And I have one site, and I did a survey over, and I, I titled it. This is the title that I gave it when I was using the ReachView app, which is the app that runs the Reach RS. So I called it survey over known point. Now I'm going to go to tools, process auto. It will now look up the closest cores unit, bring in the correction data from that unit. And so the closest one was the ZME1, which is located right somewhere in Memphis. I haven't looked up the exact location of it. So I have one point one survey point that they processed, that EasyServe processed, and it was a fix. So I had a fixed solution for that. Now, what I'm going to show you, so I'm going to go um, edit, and what I'm going to do, uh, let's go back to the project, I go to sites. I have, this is the site that I actually surveyed with the Reach RS. This is the core station. I am through processing. I really don't need this anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to be the actual coordinates that were in, that was in the data sheet. It was in this data sheet. You'll see those coordinates right there. That's what we're going to change that over to. Okay. Now I'm going to go to Edit, Site. This is the one I want to change. And I'm going to, actually, I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it Benchmark just so I know that it's been edited. Do OK. Now I'm going to import. I already have that known point set up. And if we look at that right there, these coordinates, they are precise. I got these off of the data sheet. So I'm going to import that in. Yep. And I'm going to do OK. So now I have two sites. This one here, the one I did with EasyServe and it has now been corrected. This one, I just manually entered in the coordinates from the data sheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to do analysis, inverse computation. I'm going to pick the benchmark, pick I surveyed. And now you come down here, and this is, this is the difference. Here's my accuracy of what I surveyed compared to the known coordinates. On the x-axis, I was 1.1 centimeters. That is, that's excellent. On the Y, 6.1 centimeters, and on the on the Z, 5.9 centimeters. So that is the um, the accuracy level, and that, my friends, you can work with doing drone mapping. So if you're within five to six centimeters on accuracy on your points, then you can feel really good about taking your work to a certified surveyor or civil engineer and saying guys here is a survey grade map that you guys can now certify. So I hope this has been helpful. Look for other videos uh, that I'll be putting out. I have a complete and lengthy video for beginners that will cover every step of the way from collecting the data to processing with good explanations in between so that 
if you're coming into this and you know absolutely nothing after spending what will probably be an hour and a half with my video you will walk away with good knowledge of just how things work and good resources to go look at read and listen to to learn more about the overall system and how it works because the more you understand the easier this will get again thank you for watching if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you want to find out more about upcoming videos just click on subscribe and appreciate it